This video will show you how to write any number as a product of its prime factors. The first thing we need to learn is some of these words here. Product, prime factor, index form. Okay? Product in maths means multiply. Prime factors are prime numbers. We'll talk about those in a second. So that's two, three, so on. And factors, numbers which divide into a number and give a whole number answer. Index form is things like two squared, five to the power of four, things like that. Okay, you may see this online or um, in textbooks, sometimes it's called prime factor decomposition. And we are only allowed to divide the number that we're given, so in this case it's 600. And we're only allowed to divide it by prime numbers. Okay, so that's 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, maybe 13 as well. But generally, it won't go much higher than that. Right, so we're going to do a division. So always start out with the smallest prime number. Okay, so I'm going to try 2. 2 will go into this. So I divide that by 2, I get 300. Now 300 is an even number. So I can divide it by 2 again. That's 150. I can divide 150 by 2 because it's an even number. That'll get me 75. Right, now 75. I know it's in the 5 times tables because it ends with a 5. But I could also divide it by 3. And that'd be 25. Obviously, you might not be able to do these divisions as quickly as me. Um, 25, oh, that's divisible by 5. And when we do this question, what you want to do is keep dividing by prime numbers until you get down to 1. How many 5s and 5? There's 1. Okay, you've now figured out what prime numbers make it up. So we need to write it as a product of its prime factors. These numbers, going down here, are the prime factors. We need to write that as a product. So that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. And if we were to multiply all of those together, it would equal 600. Almost done now. You've written it as a product of prime factors. We now need to make sure we use index form. So I've got three twos multiplied together using index form. That's 2 to the power of 3, multiplied by, there's only one 3, so we just write 3, multiplied by 2 5s multiplied together, it's 5 squared in index form. Question done, 3 marks. Okay, we'll do one more example then, you can have a go at some. Right, this time we've got 882, which we need to divide by prime numbers. Now that's, that's going to be an even number, so I can divide it by 2. So I get 4, 2 goes into 8 4 times, 2 goes into 2 once. Now 2 won't go into that. But if I add the digits 4, 4 and 1, they make 9. Well that's in the 3 times table, so this number is divisible by 3. Remember, only divide by prime numbers. So 3 goes into that once, Try the 1 goes into 14, 4 times, Kai 2, and it goes into 21, 7 times, 147. Okay, right. Okay, now what's this divisible by? Remember, only use prime numbers. <coughs> so we've got 1 plus 4 plus 7. They add up to 12, which is in the 3 times table. I can divide that by 3. 3 doesn't go into 1. 3 Kai the 1. 3 goes into 14. 4 times, find the 2, it's 27, goes into that 9 times. And hopefully you recognise the number 49. The number 49 is 7 squared. So if I divide that by 7, I'll get 7. And remember, we need to get down to 1. So if I divide 7 by 7, I get 1. We've done our uh, decomposition, so we now need to multiply by all of these numbers at the side. Okay. So we've got 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 times 7. And if we did that in a calculator and multiply those all together, we'd get 882. But we need to make sure to get the last mark, we use index form. There's only one 2, so it's 2 times, it's 2 3's, so that's 3 squared. And there's 2 7's, 7 squared. 
question down. Three marks. Okay. Here's a few for you to try. Okay, here's five questions for you to have a go at. Give them a go. Get your answers. Press pause in the video. And I'll give you the answers in just a few seconds. Okay, there's the answers. Remember, only divide by prime numbers. Write the numbers you divided by as a multiplication string. And remember to use indices.